Hello, let's learn on soil gel method in producing ceramic powders. Okay, in soil gel, it involves transformation of starting material solution into soil or gel through chemical reaction. Then this will become solid material after drying and densification process. This involves the evolution of inorganic network through the formation of colloidal suspension or salt and gelation of the salt to form a network in a continuous liquid phase which we call gel. Okay, so basically, salt is dispersion of solid particles in a liquid like this, while gel is a state where solid and liquid disperse in each other forming a network of solid in liquid. Okay, right. So for example, if you have milk and water in a glass and you shine light so light can pass through water easily but light will be reflected in all direction when it passes through milk because milk contains a lot of salt or the solid particles which we call colloid okay so if this is your as prepared soil, right? So remember, in liquid phase, we have to prepare the solution. So this is the as prepared solution, and you have to do the chemical reaction to make it high viscosity soil, and this will need to go hydrolysis to form stiff gel, and the gel will need to be dried and um, undergo heat treatment to form the oxide gel okay oxide uh, ceramic sorry and this oxide ceramic will need to be characterized okay basically these are the general stages in soil gel so starting material is converted in chemical process to a dispersible oxide which form colloidal dispersion or salt by addition of dilute acid or water and then this will go hydrolysis to remove of water and or anions from soil into gel, stiff gel, in the form of spheres, fibers, or coating, and this process is reversible transition. Then this is condensation, and um, the gel will need to be dry before it undergo calcination, or it will be dry during calcination of gel in the air and produce oxide powders. There are two categories of soil gel, alcohol base and aqueous base, but at this stage we are not going into deep. This is just for your information. Okay, so don't worry about this. And finally, uh, we need to know the advantages and disadvantages of soil gel method in producing ceramic powders. Right, soil gel can give a very homogeneous and high purity ceramic powders. It involves low processing temperature, normally at room temperature. So with that, it will also reduce the processing cost. But for soil gel, we need expensive starting materials because we need a special grade materials to form solution and transform it to soil and finally to gel. So not every chemicals can do that. Only special grade chemicals, which is expensive. Okay, so. Uh, besides being expensive, this starting materials is also sensitive to humidity, so we need a proper storage for all these starting materials or chemicals for soil gel method. And this soil gel method requires a long processing period because if you can imagine, we need to prepare solution and then from solution, we need to make it high viscosity solution and transform it to gel and from gel, we have to calcine to get there powders, then only we can characterize the powders. Okay, so that's all for soil gel method in producing ceramic powders.